We all know that radar is an important tool for tracking storms. What you may not know is that there's an FAA Doppler radar here in Kenton County used to monitor showers and thunderstorms around the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. For the first time outside of the National Weather Service in Wilmington, we're able to show you the storms of March 2nd minute by minute and also show you why this radar likely saved lives. Just before 5 p.m. on March 2nd, an EF3 tornado hit Holton, Indiana. Radar imagery from the National Weather Service in Wilmington showed a strong rotating thunderstorm in the area, but given the distance of the storm from the radar, it was difficult to see low-level rotation. On the FAA radar, the rotation in Ripley County was much easier to see. Around 5.30 on March 2nd, National Weather Service radar showed a hook echo and an intense circulation in southwestern Kenton County. Around the same time near Piner, Kentucky, the FAA Doppler radar showed a debris ball, a signature that essentially confirms that a damaging tornado was lofting debris into the air. About 15 minutes later, a second debris ball and strong low-level circulation were seen northwest of Peach Grove, Kentucky, as an EF3 tornado was coming right from Moscow, Ohio. These signatures gave National Weather Service forecasters the confidence to keep issuing warnings and know the rotation they were seeing on radar was actually reaching the ground. As it stands now, we can only see scans from this radar every six minutes. But beginning Tuesday, April 12th, the National Weather Service and the FAA will begin sending out scans from this radar every minute. That will allow us to detect specific threats, analyze the storm more frequently, and keep you and your family safe. I'm meteorologist Scott Dimmick, Local 12 News.